To the left of me is the boiler room, and on the right hand side is one of the paddles from the PS Melbourne, which is just splashing water onto my feet at the moment. Today the celebrations have all been for the PS Melbourne centenary, but I want to find out more about the people behind the boats. Hey you going? My name's Scott Thorpe. I'm the skipper on board the Paddle Sea Melbourne. 24 years old. Been operating up here for a couple of years now. I've come up from South Australia two years ago to operate the Melbourne. Absolutely spectacular, mate. It's just amazing how many people have actually rolled up. It's incredible to see the boats coming down here. It just gives you goosebumps sitting back here watching it. Now, actually, right in front of us right now is actually the, the captain's wheel. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's a ship's helm. Yeah, so um, it's a helm on the vessel itself. They're always quite large in these big, big paddle boats. It gives us a leverage to pull the rudders around. Um, being quite young, you're, uh, you know, I guess quite unusual in, in this sort of role. How does that, how do you find that? Yeah, no, it is pretty young. I'm sort of, I'm sort of working with blokes and the work blokes that are easily in their 30s, 40s and 50s, if not onwards. Um, I started on it really young. I got involved. My dad, old man, is actually on the Oscar W today. He's skipper in her, so sort of got involved in pretty young but no it's always a bit hard when you're coming into paddle boats and stuff like that talking to blokes that are 30 40 years your senior so it's no it's good fun enjoy it and what drives your passion for paddle steamers history um especially when it comes to the steamers they're a living breathing thing they're not like a diesel engine they're actually a living breathing operation it's the smells it's the sounds it's just the atmosphere they bring they're amazing and you're hoping that this kind of um this kind of the paddle steamers will be passed on through the generations still yeah, we like to hope so. They spend a fair bit of time and effort with volunteers and so forth getting these vessels up to scratch. So we like to think in the next coming years that they've not improved and keep, keep them operational. We get the next breed of volunteers come through and keep helping out and good to see them continuing the cruising. G'day, my name is John and I'm the engineer aboard the paddle steamer Melbourne. A long time ago, um, I I've done uh, a course with uh, Chris, who is Elby's son. I uh, got my engine driver's ticket and everything, and um, he approached me quite a few years ago to come and work for the company, and uh, I said, no, originally. I said, no, nah, not interested. But after quite a few discussions, here I am 17, 17 years later. So, And what sort of drives your passion to keep going? I think just the, the nostalgia about it, you know, the, the age when it was built the history behind it all and, and same with all the other boats you know the so much history you know developed on the river over the last 150 odd years it's just people just don't know it just so there's just so incredible workhorses what the, how they pioneered the river back in those days can you just describe the feeling of when you know one of these is actually up and running oh, once it gets underway uh, the sound of it it's just poetry emotion it's alive it's talking to you if you know what I mean, um, the exhausting of the steam and uh, everything going through to the funnel, to the atmosphere, to, to the paddles slapping in the water, yeah, it just it's so relaxing. It just yeah, it's really good. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Eric John Wolverson, and uh, I'm one of the engineers aboard the Paddle Steam Marion. And uh, at 26, I'm actually her youngest current serving engineer on board and uh, the youngest engineer on board the Marion ever, so. Are you, are you surprised at the turnout today? There must be around about 10,000 people here. Yeah, I am really surprised actually. It's good to see all the public come out to have a look at all the boats and, and to celebrate the Melbourne centenary. Um, you know, every town we went through on the way up here from Manham on the Marion, there was more and more people at each town and it's really great to see such a turnout here at Mildura. And what's your connection with paddle steamers? Because 26 years old, you're quite young. I don't think that, you know, you might not fit the mould that people would expect to you think of an engineer on a paddle steamer. What's your connection to paddle steamers? Yeah, I get that quite a bit, really, with my age. Um, I was sort of born into it, really. Uh, my old man was an engineer aboard paddle steamers. He used to do relieving work on the Melbourne as well as some of the other boats. And, yeah, grew up with it and grew up on, coming up the river on the boats. You know, coming from Adelaide, I get up and do as much as I can. And uh, yeah, it's a passion and a hobby and I've had yeah two weeks off of work to come up here and drive the Marion up from Manham, so not much of a holiday, but it's great fun. And what, what sort of um, drives that passion for you? Uh, there's a lot of things really, it's the river itself, uh, the boats, they're an incredible piece of history and uh, there's just nothing quite like them left around, you know, and uh, the steam engine at the heart of a lot of these original boats, they're incredible, you know, by the time you light a fire in them and they get warm and the engine huffs and puffs away, they're alive, you know. And uh, it's just, 
being able to step away from my way of life in the city and come up the river where the scenery is beautiful and on a great piece of history and you know enjoy keeping just a piece of history alive it's it's a wonderful thing and I thoroughly enjoy it so I like to think that you know the knowledge and skills that go with these old boats will still continue to interest future generations and the old boats will stay alive.